for the last couple of hours here. Huge, hugely populated by Derry people from the town they love so well. They say everybody in Derry is artistic. They can either dance, sing, play football or box cleverly. John Duddy getting an heroic welcome here. And across the ring, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, wearing the green trunks, trimmed with gold. He comes from Derry, weighed in at 11 stone, six and a half pound. He's undefeated as a professional. 20 wins from 20 contests. 15 big wins coming by way of knockout. He comes to the ring as the IBA and WBC Continental America's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, at last, he appears in Ireland. There is Destroyer John Daly. He is cool and composed here at the top of this fight. Hasn't thrown a right hand yet in anger. Keeps the jab going, and that serves if for no other purpose than to keep Furlan at bay. Has him over in the Italian's corner now. When Bernard Dunn boxed in uh, near Turin a couple of years ago, this man Furlan was on the bill that night. So I've seen him before. He's a good, hard, rugged fighter. 33 pro fights tonight. It's only a coming of age for John Duddy. It's only his 21st. Oh, that's a good right hand by Furlong there. Just caught John Duddy on the temple. Not a devastating right hand, but a hurtful a warning. one. Yes. Oh, great left, left hand from Duddy. Absolutely Furlong. beautiful. Furlong has been taking it was a slip. But Emil Cheech is having none of it. Well done, Emil. Well done. Good refereeing. But he certainly felt it anyway. And now Duddy goes for the kill. He's got it with the time. Goes for the body. Furlan will do well to hang on and dance and wrestle and get himself away from the ropes, which he does successfully. Tactically, that was good from Furlan. What Duddy wants but to do now? back in his corner again. And that's no place to go. Because Duddy is cutting him off. The referee has to stop it because Furlong is holding Duddy, holding his arm under his own oxer. And Duddy has a cut to his left eye. He's been jumping at it and, and Furlong has been dangerous with the head. The head's low and he's holding on for grim death. But what John Duddy wants to do is stand back and take stock and work his way in and don't be jumping in because he can jump into a whole lot of trouble with heads. So now Duddy goes for it. He knows his eye is cut, he can feel it. You can feel the blood. So now he goes for Furlan. And you can see that that's the end of the round. Oh, what an action backstart. It's the tenth and it's the last. And it's the touch gloves. They've given value for money. They hug, they dance, and away they go. It takes a few hours to drive to Derry. And obviously a few hours to drive from Derry to Dublin. But a huge number of people have done that today. And they may have watched Derry this afternoon playing in the championship qualifier and beating Mayo. And they've made their way up to support their hometown man. And he hasn't disappointed. John Duddy has come to this ring tonight via New York, via Madison Square Garden. Good, hard pro fight. That's exactly what John Duddy needed at this stage in his career. Somebody who's going to give him 10 good hard rounds and make him think about what he's doing here. Because this guy, well, this is the sort of guy that improves your fight game. Because this guy is no mug. This guy is a good, solid journeyman. And he would give any man a real tough test. Do you see Duddy, a European champion, a few bouts away from him? Oh, yes, there's, 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 there's no doubt in my mind that... Uh, the European title is well within John Dory's grasp, well within it. Now you can take a line through the way Furlan went with uh, Sylvester. And Duddy has it, but still needs a bit of tuning up from Don Turner. 
But one thing for sure, as they'll tell you in New York, he is a crowd pleaser and he's come home to Dublin, or well, this is home for the purposes of this fight anyway. He's come home and he's jabbed properly. He's made his crosses when the openings have appeared and generally he has overcome the potential difficulty of having two cut eyes and he's done it all with a lot of grace and a lot of style and without ever losing his composure and let's face it without looking in real trouble that's a good right hand on the face there by Duddy and he only tries a left he's going to try for a finish and down goes Furlong John Duddy going for an early finish well it's not all that early and Emil Treat counting in Italian fair play to Emil This is what Dory yeah. wants to do, tie the pressure on. Fernand is down again, but there's only 10 seconds on the clock, and he doesn't deserve to be stopped, but he is. And Emil T brings him back to the corner. Ah, it's disappointing for Furlan. He put in a magnificent show, but salute John Duddy as he salutes those ecstatic people from Derry and other places who have come to support him. Gentlemen. After two minutes and 42 seconds of the tenth round, the referee has stopped the contest. Alicio Furlan in no position to continue. The winner has still undefeated in 21 contests, John Dolly! 21 fights, 21 wins, 16 inside the distance. The Derry Destroyer has made it a super homecoming. Well, John, you're live on RT television around the country and indeed around the world. Uh, this is a significant night, a huge night for John Duddy. Oh, of course it is. I've boxed in the National Stadium many times before, and I don't think I gave as good a performance as I did tonight, you know. But, uh, I want to tell you something. Uh, this man here, Don Turner, pulled me in the second round, threw right uppercuts, and I didn't start throwing him to the 10th round. So there, you see what happens, I knocked him out. <laughs> It looked from the beginning that you were in control, but we were concerned about these cuts over the eyes. Unfortunately, we had a clash of heads. I knew that with Alonso had a tendency to leave his head on, you know, and to be honest with you, I have a tendency to, and there was nothing deliberate, you know, but it comes part and parcel of sport, and you know what I mean? I'm fed up and told I don't look like a boxer, so I'm trying to look like one now. <laughs> Talk to me about coming back to Ireland and, and, and this particular fighter here in the National Stadium, coming home. Well, it's the first fight. It's the beginning of hopefully something special for Ireland, as I've said before. As I said before, I was, uh, I was one of many in the amateurs, you know, and yeah, the, the likes of Bernard Dundit, they went over to America first and he chose to come back to Ireland. And look what he set up and he's got a high standard of boxing now where Irish people are coming to watch. And we have been the European champion. I'm hoping to do something what he can do in the world of boxing. And you know what I mean? Like the world, Irish boxing is thriving at the moment, hey, and I'm just proud to be a part of it. Where, where do you go from here? What's next now for John Duddy? What's, what's next now is onwards and upwards, do you know what I mean? i got a good team at Think For Me, I've got a fair idea what's happening, but I don't care about that, I'm going to relax tonight, uh, take it easy money, go back to my hometown Derry. Uh, oh! And uh, the McLaughlin brothers are going to tell me what they've had penciled on for this last couple of weeks. And uh, you know, th this was a big transitional period for me. First time back in Ireland. First time working with Don Turner. The man's got an unbelievable experience. And he's here and he can talk any more better than I can, you know. But uh, I want to tell you that this is a man that's going to take me there if I can do it. Well, let's go to uh, Don Turner. What do you think of this uh, wonderful uh, dairy man? I was wondering when he was going to do it. I told him in the second round. He waited till the 10th round. You know, if he learned how to think in transition, it's a wrap. Well, you, you have uh, some curriculum, Vita. I mean, you've trained some of the best in the world. Describe for me what you really think of John Duddy and what has he got to do to win European and world titles? Well, I think he's about four or five fights away from the world title. You know, he's still learning. He's, he, he's thinking too much right now because we are new. But maybe the next time he'll get better and better and better. About five fights down the road, you'll see a different fighter. What do you think he should do next now? What is next in terms of what would you like to see him do? Don't wait so long to knock the guy out. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to let everybody know here, uh, I know I'm going to get slagged for this in Derry, but did you all have a hunky-dory night, did you? <laughs> 
following in the footsteps of uh, Bernard John. Ladies and gentlemen, John Duddy.